Check this out. This here is a cookbook. It's the most amazing cookbook, and I'll tell you why. Because it has many delicious recipes in it. Many, many delicious recipes. For example, rich spice cake. Irresistible chocolate fudge pudding cake. Tuna cheese swirls. Amazing. Something called sunshine coffee cake. Spaghetti seasoning mix, taco seasoning mix, bacon flavored dip mix, sloppy joe seasoning mix, seafood curling mix, chili seasoning mix, home style dressing mix, super salad mix, sweet salad dressing mix, Mexican rice mix, Caesar salad dressing mix, dilly rest lemon mix, special mixes, pudding and pie mix, flaky pie mix, brownie mix, chicken mix, meatball mix, braised meat, reggie hamburger mix, ah, oh, mixes, 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 <gasps> quick mix, hot roll mix, how to make a mix cookery. Amazing! Oh my goodness. Master Mixes! The master of all mixes! Well, you know what I'm gonna do? You know, I'm gonna flip open to a random recipe in this cookbook here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna read you that recipe, because it's so amazing. So... Ah! Big soft pretzels. <laughs> Delicious! <coughs> Once upon a time, there was an outcast knight who loved to eat salt mackerel for breakfast. But one day, he discovered that he was out of dishwasher detergent. He nearly panicked, because local wheat fishers weren't due back from summer school for another three years. Grimly, he realized that he would have to catch his own rats. So he stole a space cruiser from a passing band of space pirates, but was tragically shot down by a little red hooded knight who sat on the puppet. In consternation, the knight realized that the hooding knight had enough salt mackerel to feed an entire ant. Hanging his head in shame, he went away, resolving to find the mighty sword of dreams. So he rode his trusty lager into the sunrise, and after two longish years, he finally arrived at the mighty mountain. While climbing it, he stumbled on a clamshell and stumbled into a rock wall, breaking his nose. Later, he stumbled onto a 17 year old supply of salt mackerel. This was a sign, he realized, a sign telling him to go back and marry his high school sweetheart. But unfortunately, he was allergic to cat dandruff, forcing him to chew cinnamon gum for the rest of his life, resulting in greater jaw strength and increased self-esteem. Being cast knight went on to invent space, but tragically died under the merciless roundhouse kick of Chuck Norris. Sadly, we don't know what happened to his grandma. Just never know what you can find in a cookbook. <laughs>